So what the dancers did is they went through each individual piece and learned all the movements and then put them together as easy as that. And when you complete it, it's sort of a flash mob type of thing uh, that ends up being a content-rich flash mob. So you're taking a socially relevant activity for students and you're making it, you know, connecting with content. Uh, but I think one of the most fascinating and useful things that we can learn from the 21st century is that if you're going to do a flash mob, film it. You know, why would you do it and not film it? And I like to bring that mentality to pretty much every lesson that I can possibly think of. Begin with that end in mind. How could I adjust my assignment, my curriculum, my content, what I challenge my students with, to constantly be challenging them to create things that will be published? So, you know, creating very simple video. And I want to pull up the flash mob video. Just really quick, so I, I'm just using my, I have an iPhone, I'm just using my iPhone and just plug it in, I'm just going to grab the video off and throw it on my desktop for right now so we can immediately watch it back. And rapid viewing, you know, we, we created this just a second ago, and it's very powerful for students to, I mean, that's sort of the world they live in, you know, like, okay, done, let's watch it immediately. There's no reason, there's not a lot of value in me saying, no, 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 we, I gotta fix the lighting. And fix, those things don't matter. They shouldn't matter to anybody. Uh, they, they really don't matter to students. They just wanna see their work back, and this is a great way to rapidly create and offer them immediate feedback on their work. So those of you who did dance, here is your immediate feedback. I'm importing it to my desktop just for now, until I decide if it's something I want to publish or not. Because we don't know. And this is one of the this is the most powerful powerful thing about using video with students is when we're doing something, a flash mob, teaching a lesson, uh, giving a speech having students read poetry, I mean, the list goes on, having students uh, explain a lab they just did, when they're recording something, or when you're presenting, like I'm doing right now, I have no idea how I'm doing. I'm in a moment of constant chaos in my head. I cannot reflect on what I'm doing while I am doing it, which is why I record all my presentations so I can know for sure, because it's really important to me to improve my practice, and the best way to do that is to know myself, is to know how I actually did, because I could walk out of here in 20 minutes and say, I'm so, I'm so, so good. It's, it's amazing, you know, like, it's incredible, because we lie to ourselves. But watching a video back does not allow us to effectively lie to ourselves. 